Hello friends, welcome to Tech Study Cell. In this video, we will explore a new IoT platform called Caddy Home Automation. During the video, I have explained some important features of this new IoT platform and the most amazing part, you don't need any coding skill to make home automation project. You just need to upload a firmware to ESP32, then configure it using their mobile app and that's it, your home automation project will be ready. And of course, I have used their free plan to make this complete project. So after watching the video, anyone can make this home automation project. But before going to the details, let me show you how this project works. Here you can see I have made a complete circuit on the Zero PCB and this LED is glowing which indicates the ESP32 is connected with the Wi-Fi. So first let me control the appliances with the Tadio Home Automation app and I can use this button to turn off all the appliances together and this button to turn on all the appliances together and I can also control the appliances with voice. Turn off outdoor light. You can see the outdoor light turns off. Now let me go to the Google Home app. So we can also control these appliances with the Google Home app. Let me turn on the outdoor light. You can see the light turns on. Let me turn off the fan. You can see the last lamp turns off. Now let me ask Google Assistant to control the appliances. Hey, turn on fan. Got it. Turning you the fan can see on. the last lamp turns on. Now let me go to the Cadio home automation app again and if i tap here we can monitor the reading from the dst11 sensor this is the temperature and the humidity reading now let me control the appliances with the switch and you can monitor the real-time feedback on the cadio home automation app now let me turn off the wi-fi to show you how it works without internet after turning off the Wi-Fi, you can see the LED starts blinking which indicates the ESP32 is not connected with the Wi-Fi. Still, I can control the lamps manually with these switches. So if there is no Wi-Fi, you can control the appliances with these switches. Now let me turn on the Wi-Fi again. Now if the Wi-Fi is available, the ESP32 will automatically connect with the Wi-Fi and again we can control the appliances with the Radio Home Automation app. Currently the second and fourth lamp is on. Now I am going to turn off the complete supply. So here you can see I have turned off the supply. Yes, P32 do not have any power supply right now. Now let me turn on the supply again. And you can see after turning on the supply, the second fourth lamp automatically turns on. So it can also remember the previous states and after the power comes back, the lamps or appliances will turn on automatically according to the previous states. So without any further delay, let's get started. Although I have not used any PCB for this project, but I will always recommend you to use a PCB for any electronics project and you can easily design professional PCBs using the Altium PCB designer software. Now LTM came up with an amazing product called LTM 365. LTM 365 is an electronic product design platform that unites PCB design, MCAD, data management and teamwork. So with LTM 365, you can not only design PCBs, but you can also share your projects to your teammates for review. The mechanical team can also access the PCB files so they can parallelly work on the mechanical product package based on your PCB design. And there is no chance of losing design data with the automatic backup and centralized cloud storage. It also helps you to manage your components and get real-time supply chain data for all the components. It also allows multiple people to work on a single project and finally you can send your product to manufacturing with a single click. LTM 365 automates all of these tasks for you so that you can focus on making something creative and useful. And now you can download the free trial version of the LTM PCB designer software from the video description. To make this home automation project, you just need a ESP32, relay module and a DST11 sensor. And after that, you have to connect all these components as per the circuit diagram. The circuit is very simple. Here I have given the 5 volt DC supply. And this DST sensor is connected with the RX2 which is GPIO 16. So I will recommend you to prepare a chart for this platform. For DST11 I will use GPIO 16 which is RX2. 
now the first relay is connected with the gpio 23 here you can see this is the first relay and the first switch is connected with the gpio 13 so again i will mention it here for the relay the gpio pin is 23 and for the switch the gpio pin is 13 so you can use any circuit but i will recommend you to prepare a chart like this now we have to visit the cadio home automation website I will share this link in the description so here you can see these are the main features of cadio now i will click on downloads from here we have to download the firmware for the esp32 so first i will download the esp32 firmware then i have to download the flash download tool for esp32 now first i will extract these two files now first let me open the tool to download the firmware now here i will select esp32 as i will use esp32 now this is the tool now i will go to the firmware folder now here you will get this four bit file for esp32 first we have to select this bit files from the downloaded tool so i will browse the path then i have to enter the address for the bit file i will just copy the folder name and here i will paste it in a similar way i will select the second bit file and copy the address so in this way you have to select four bit file and the address now connect the esp32 with the laptop now spi speed will be 80 megahertz spi mode will be dio and here you have to select the com port and the broad red now first i will click on erase it will take some time after that i will select all this farmer and click on start so here you can see it is showing finish which indicates the farmer uploaded successfully now i will install the cadio home automation app from the play store so here i will search for cadio home automation then this is the app let me tap on open so if you are new to this platform just tap on sign up and create an account i already have an account so let me log in now here you can see i have not connected any device yet now we have to restart the esp32 then press and hold the boot button for three to five seconds to go to config mode you will notice the blue led is blinking which indicates now it is in config mode now if you find the blue LED is not blinking then again reset the microcontroller and press the boot button for 3 to 5 seconds. Now here you can see this blue LED is blinking which indicates now I can configure the ESP32. So I will tap on this 3 dash icon and select configuration. Now first you have to turn off the mobile data and connect the hotspot created by the ESP32. So here you can see CADIO 94P. I will select on this hotspot now it is connected so this is the configuration page where we have to configure the ESP32 here you can see I have used the pull up switch so I will not change it if you use pull down switch you have to select pull down here then I will select the relay mode active low as I have used active low relay module then here you can see by default zero which is boot button is used as a config button i will not change it now in the wi-fi led gpio i will select gpio 15 here you can see i have connected this led and the mode will be active high for the config led they have used this inbuilt blue led which gpio is 2 and again i will select the mode active high now we have to map the gpio pins for the relay and sensor first i will select the dht and i have used gpio 16 which is rx2 for the dht sensor then i will select the type on off for the relay here i have used four relay so let me select on off four times then i will refer the chart which i have already prepared for the relays and switch gpio so as per my circuit for the first relay i have select the gpio 23 so i will select 23 here and for the first switch i have used the gpio 13 so in this manner you have to select the gpio pins for the relay and respective switches now after checking the configuration I will tap on this tick icon and select yes then you have to enter a name for it you can give any name then it will ask for the Wi-Fi credential I will select the Wi-Fi name then enter the Wi-Fi password then here I will enter the unique name again you can give any name 
now i will tap on this icon this may take some time you will find the dashboard will appear automatically after a certain time and here you can see this is our dashboard and the wi-fi led is glowing which indicates the esp32 is connected with the wi-fi now you can also change the name of these devices in the cadio app you have to long press on the device just go to setting then here you have to type the name for the device then you can also change the device icon and from this page you can also set a timer for this device and also create a scheduler for this device the device will turn on and off as per the schedule you have created i will discuss those features in upcoming videos in a similar way let me change the device names for all the device now i will tap on this dst sensor and in the setting i have to select the dst element sensor type now we will connect the google home and amazon alexa with cario so let me go to google home app i have already created a home so i will tap on this plus icon select setup device then select works with google here you have to search for cario then tap on the cario tap on continue then log in to your cario account now go to main dashboard so here you can see all the device added in the google home app now we will quickly connect the amazon alexa with cadio so i will go to device then tap on your smart home skill then enable smart home skill here i have to search for cadio then tap on the cadio skill then tap on enable to use now i have to log in to my cadio account now i will tap on next so we are getting this error while connecting the Amazon Alexa with Cadio. Let me know in the comment section if you are getting the same error. Here I am not using any Echo device, just using the Amazon Alexa app. Now here you can see I have connected the ESP32 with the circuit. Now let me turn on the supply. And here you can see the ESP32 automatically connects with the Wi-Fi as the Wi-Fi LED is glowing. So now let me control the appliances with the Cadio app and can easily control all the appliances now let me use the manual switch and we can monitor the real-time feedback on the cadio app now as i said i'm using the free trial version so here you can see trial is written on each device so here you can see under the trial version you can control the appliances up to 500 hours after that, you have to upload the firmware again to ESP32 and configure the ESP32 again. Then you can able to control the appliances for next 500 hours. So this is one major limitation in their free trial version. But if you purchase their permanent license, then you can able to control the appliances without any limitation. So let me know in the comment section what do you think about this home automation platform and if you find this video helpful then please hit the like button and share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe for more such videos thank you for watching have a great day